Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. Now, one of the things that none of us really enjoy about life is the fact that sometimes bad things happen, and, and grief is a, is a part of life. And uh, unfortunately, given all that's going on in the world, I've had a number of conversations recently with people concerning grief, grief at uh, losing loved ones or uh, situations that are happening or dealing with long-term issues. And I wanted to give you some ideas on, uh, on how to navigate grief. So first I wanna encourage you is to acknowledge that there are things that are heartbreaking in the world. It does not dishonor God to be real about the fact that there's brokenness and, and sadness in the world. Of course, the shortest verse in the Bible is that Jesus wept. So first you have to acknowledge that grief is real. Second is that you need to grieve in a way that is filled with hope. Uh, the Apostle Paul said that, you know, that because we believe in the resurrection, we do not grieve as those uh, who have no hope. And so uh, all of our grief should be tied to our faith in the death and the resurrection of Jesus. We know that through every death, there is a new life that comes. And that's not only true uh, in, in actual death and, and resurrection, but also that God brings beauty out of ashes. Third, and I think this is really important, is that when you're going through grief, that everybody grieves differently. And I think what happens a lot of times is grief is kind of amplified because people begin to judge other people's grief. Everybody processes grief differently. And sometimes we get frustrated with loved ones or people who are close to us because they're not grieving the way that we are. Or we start to think that you're not really grieving because you're not dealing with the way that I'm dealing with. But listen, God's made everybody different. And we wanna make sure that we give space to each person to grieve in a way that works for them because really ultimately and finally, the goal is to integrate this loss or this struggle into your life in a way that doesn't uh, tear you down long-term but really builds you up. That you wanna integrate grief into your life in a way that is life-giving. And that's really the ultimate goal. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to share this video because unfortunately, lots and lots of people that you know are going through seasons of grief for all different reasons. And in the comment section, I want you to share a, a story of how you've been processing grief grief. And we also want to be able to pray for one another as we're being vulnerable and honest about some of the different things that are going on in our lives. And God bless you today.